Here we go, guys. Hour two of Fire Emblem. We have not done a single moment of gameplay. We've only watched the poor conversations this, this session. Okay. Hanuman and Dorothea. <clears throat> ah. Time to relax. Professor Hanuman, do you have a moment to talk? Of course, of course, Miss Dorothea. Whatever is on your mind. I heard you were once a member of the nobility, and you surrendered your title to come here. Indeed. I was a noble once. Why are you so curious about that? I knew there was something noble about your speech and your perfect manners. You're always impeccably dressed, too. And you have a certain pride about you. And that's why she hates you. She what hates nobles. What interests me is that you threw it all away. <laughs> why? I threw nothing away, child. In fact, by stepping away from its trappings, in my heart I feel closer than ever to the true meaning of nobility. How so? Consider this. At its inception, the concept of nobility assumed that the greatest among the populace would rise to power. In my mind, I believe that means those who value knowledge those who strive for more and wish to protect and guide their fellow man. Okay. However, in practice, nobility often serves to keep those deemed commoners down. It's true. Segregated from those who, by chance, were born to a noble family. Yeah, nepotism. That is one of the reasons I decided to leave that nonsense behind and dedicate myself to the study of crests. Though I have abandoned my position, in my mind, it was to pursue what I consider to be a truly noble pursuit. Hmm. That of knowledge. That's interesting. I see. Well, you're definitely a noble in that sense of the word. To pursue such admirable ideas without regard for your social position. How wonderful. Pardon? <laughs> oh, it's nothing. I was just very moved by your words. Ah, well... I'm quite pleased to hear you say so. That was interesting. So he was a noble and he gave all his nobility up, like his power and everything, because he wanted to come and he felt that it was too... Too many noble people who were supposed to be the best of society weren't acting in that way. So he stepped away from that life to felt like he feel, do what he felt would be good for society. I guess that is pretty admirable. The Hate took me a dollar thirty and said, you should try Battletoads. It's a fun game on Xbox Game Pass. Yeah, I'm in no rush to play Battletoads. I've heard it's not very good, actually, so... <laughs> not really in a, in a big, uh... You know, a big desperate rush to play it. <clears throat> okay. Set it. Oh, my God. Dude, we're never gonna finish this. We're gonna be doing these for the rest of the night at this point. Set it and Hanuman. Oh, my God. I know you are there, Hanuman. Well, uh... To say, are those crest documents... Ah, Seth, have you finally decided to cooperate with my research? Absolutely not. <laughs> For 21 years, I have refused your requests. I have no intention <laughs> of changing my mind. But I will lend you these documents I have found, on the condition that you stop following me. I am quite tempted by the offer, but your cooperation would be of much greater value. Your crest, the major crest of Keyhole, is so rare. Keyhole? As far as I am aware, Seth, you are the only person ever confirmed to bear that particular crest. How did you come to possess it? My answer is the same as every other time you have asked. I do mm. not know. I was born a commoner with no connections to any crests. There are no records of my lineage. Oh, please. That thin explanation could never discourage me. You must understand, I will dig until I find the truth, no matter how long it takes. You are wasting your time. I cannot give you the answers you seek. Even if you were to discover the reason why I bear the major crest of Keyhole, I doubt it would satisfy you. That is for me alone to decide. And even if you are correct, that confirmation itself would be a valuable discovery. Such is the way of research, yes? I'm afraid I cannot attest to that. I'm no scholar. In any case, if you really have no need for the documents, you will not mind if I dispose of them. <laughs> Let's not do anything hasty now. <laughs> I will leave you alone. 
for now. But I am taking these documents with me. Oh my god. Once I complete my research on these papers, it'll be your turn, Seth. I will learn the truth of your crest. It is a pointless endeavor. You will learn nothing from me, no matter how much you try. Ah. Perhaps his stubborn nature is one of the effects of his crest. Now that would be an interesting discovery. The first stage of my research will be to decipher his personality. Oh my god. The hate to the dollar thirty he said IGN gave it eight out of ten stars, so it's good. Because we all know IGN is the gospel truth on every game. They never get a review wrong, they're always accurate, and they always give due diligence in their reporting. Now please don't mind me while I push my ginormously long nose away from the microphone to uh, try to select the next support conversation here. Okay, Sedith and Catherine. We've got to almost be done. How are you, Catherine? You look well enough. Hmm? Oh, yes, I'm fine. Never better. That is good. I cannot help but be concerned given your tendency toward incautious behavior. While boldness can be a virtue, I do hope you will bear in mind that recklessness is not. A moment's negligence can lead to a mortal wound for even the most skilled fighter. You worry too much. If they saw me in action, the wounds themselves would cower. That is precisely the attitude that worries me. Especially given your history. You have been gravely injured before, as you no doubt recall. Me? Gravely injured? When did that happen? You mean you have forgotten? It was during your days as a student at the Officers' Academy. There was an excursion, a monster hunt. You charged ahead and left your fellow students behind. Hmm. You ended up alone and surrounded. You almost died. Do you truly not remember? Are you sure? All I remember is cutting down monsters left and right. That is true enough, but you nearly bled to death in the aftermath. Yeah. The Archbishop was so concerned for your life that she tended your wounds personally. Oh, that was when that happened. Finally, it all fits together. Lady Rhea looking after me. Now that I remember clearly. That was the first time she ever spoke to me. I was lying on the ground, caked in mud, and she gently picked me up, even stroked my hair. Hmm. The emotions were so overpowering that they must have just cleared away my memory of the whole incident. So it was during the monster hunt. Thanks, Sedith. That's been bothering me for ages. <laughs> that is not quite why I brought it up. <laughs> Come to think of it, Lady Rhea hasn't healed me since then. We've got to find Lady Rhea. And then maybe someday she'll honor me like that again. Okay, I don't even know what the significance of that conversation was. That was completely pointless in my opinion. Pokefan89 to me a dollar and said, Is it too warm in the room? We see you twice falling asleep on camera. Are you tired? I don't know what you're talking about. I yawned a bit. But if anything, it's the support conversations putting me to sleep. It's definitely not the room. Although I did turn up the air conditioning since I put the vest on. Now I'm getting hot. So I did turn up the air conditioning. Oh, all right, please tell me there's only one conversation left. There's only one conversation left, I think. Hey, Sedith. I got a delivery for you. Thank you, Cyril. Would you mind waiting just a moment for me to confirm the contents? Sure thing. All seems to be accounted for. I lack the time to handle tasks of this kind myself. I appreciate you making the effort. Hmm. Is there anything I can assist you with? Do you have any concerns? Concerns? Nah. I'm happy just working for Lady Rhea. I got a way better life now than I ever did before. If your better life is this frugal, I have to wonder what your previous experience was like. It must not have been easy before you came to us. But you should know that is in the past now. You are young. You should be enjoying life. Do not allow your past to overshadow that. Is there nothing you desire? We will support you in any way we can. Really, there's nothing. Except... Nah, it's okay. What is Except it? A bag of White Castle burgers, please. I don't got anywhere else to go, and I just want to be able to stay here forever. This place Lady Rhea gave me, it's the only place I know to call home. I will keep that in mind. Well, I got work to do. Excuse me. Of course. I apologize for delaying you. Another pointless conversation. 
Shut through some main juice and my eyes have been shutting. We can see it. I don't know what you're talking about. Like I said, maybe if I'm getting bored by a conversation. It has nothing to do with like the temperature in here, though. See so you fooled with a dollar thirty. He said IGN gave nine out of ten stars to the Quiet Man. So well, I really hope that's not true. I actually thought it was like incredibly poorly reviewed, The Quiet Man. Uh, thank you for the dollar tip, uh, CM Fool. Alright. Guess what? We're finally done with the fucking support conversations. In fact, you know what? That took so long, I'm saving the game. That was over an hour. Now. This is the final weekend of the month. I can explore to a seminar, battle, or rest. Um, there's no more training right now. Or I should say instruction. So I don't necessarily need to rejuvenate my troops whatsoever. Me, uh, uh, I, guess I'm, I guess I'm good to do... I, I would say I don't want to fight. I already fought twice the week before. Seminar, I guess, right? I think it would be seminar. Now, who am I trying to go to get what? I forget. Him, I'm trying to be, be a Dark Knight, right? It's called uh, Dark Knight. Yeah. So I need a reason. The problem is that these seminars don't really... Oh. This would actually uh, do reason. Yeah. And I need that. Right? And this would be faith. I'm doing this one. It's reason for Ferdinand and it's faith for uh, me, my main character, who needs faith. So I'm going to do this. There you go. <clears throat> cool. Wow, look at this. Damn, that gives a, an actual ton of experience. I'm getting the hang of this. Cool. Another gain from mortal risk. Uh -huh. I still have much to learn. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Nonsense Gaming Live just did a 200 bit cheer and said, With the last few streams being so close to the Vestry ending, it made me wonder have you planned for what's next? Like, are you ready for the next plan when the Vestry ends? I've already explained about this. This streak was your doing, not mine. You guys came up with the idea. You guys came up with incentives. You guys wanted emotes. Like, it's all on you because you guys thought of such fun ideas. And basically, the, the vests have become a culture of my streams over the last five months. It's part of our, our fun interactivity that we have every day. If the vest streak ends, it ends. And then it's up to you. The next day, we'll have a serious conversation on stream. Where do you guys want to see in the future? Do you want us to reset the vest streak to zero and start over? Do you want us to strike different stuff? Like, what can we do? That would be a conversation for us to have, right? But... I'm not thinking that far ahead because it's really going to be an organic conversation between us that will determine the future. It's not just on me, you know. Um, Ninstar Rune Cheer said, how much of this game do you think is actually gameplay and how much is cutscenes? Seems facetious to claim it's a 100-hour RPG when it seems like half that is talking. There's a lot of cutscenes. There's a lot of cutscenes in this game. I'm not going not gonna to lie. <clears throat> okay. I think we'll actually get to finish the month. We'll get to do a, a fight here, and that'll end the month. I, do I doubt it's going to take 45 minutes to do this, so... I think we're good. I think I just want to be sure... That everyone's weapons are good. Oh! I might want to repair the Armor Slayer Plus, but maybe not. Nah, you know what? I think we're good for now. I think maybe the next month I'll repair... For now, I think I'm okay. Oh, shit. Her brave bow is all kinds of screwed up. Let's feel, repair that. That's right, because I held off of repairing it because you need those rare root seeds to repair. Ugh, excuse me, repair this killer lane. That was disgusting. I'm sorry, guy. That was really nasty. Okay, the Thunderbrand, I think we're going to have to repair it now. Sucks I just used almost all my umbral steel and that's a rare item, but what am I gonna do, right? I needed to. Okay, we're good now. Alright, let's do it. Let's see what the mission is. I don't even remember. So it's ambush at Alo. Your party travels to Alo, the Valley of Torment. Oh, that's right, the Valley of Torment. To meet up with allied troops to secure reinforcements. It should have been a safe march. I guess that means it's not going to be. Dun dun dun. Have I washed the vest since I bought them weeks ago? Yes! Absolutely. I've watched 
I usually wash my vest about once every two weeks, roughly. And give or take. It might not be literally a little longer, maybe a little shorter, but roughly once every two weeks, I toss them all in the wash. So. See him fool through the dollar thirty. He said, "How about playing the quiet man streak?" Oh my God, playing the quiet man streak. He said, "Thank you, see him fool for the dollar tip. Maybe one day I'll play it, but not tonight. Let's save and let's fight. Let's get some action." Whoa! <laughs> That's a surprise. In response me. to the resistance army's plea, Judith has agreed to provide soldiers. That's true. You guys can see Judith. I clocked. I to meet up with the reinforcements. <laughs> the resistance army sets out for LL. The Valley of Torment. Unbeknownst to them, something else awaits them there. What's going to happen at the Valley of Torment? That sounds so ominous. All right. I am grateful. Jethro's main cheese said, do you think it's possible that you've lost viewers because of the vest or gained? I have no idea. This is chapter 15. I've told this. Oh, my God. I was told this line of plot has 22 chapters. I have changed my mind. Oh boy. I'd like to return to my cozy bed now. Uh, where are we? This land was born of the goddess's wrath. There was an immense battle here long ago. To end it, she set the entire valley aflame. Of course, there is no record of this. Some theorize this was done by another and then blamed on the goddess. My head is being defeated by this heat. I think I am seeing visions. <laughs> there, within the mountains. A shadow. Uh-oh. That's just the... Whoa. I see it too. That's just a giant army. It appears to be a military force, but in a different location than the one we agreed to. I think we're screwed. Nonsense Gaming Live did a 500 bit cheer and said, This sounds fun. I just know I think you're an awesome person. I love your dedication to being a true Twitch gaming channel. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, Nonsense Gaming Live, for the support. I appreciate that. It's an enemy raid. Like kingdom soldiers. They fooled us. Damn. I thought we had disposed of all the spies. They carry the flag of House Row. They've joined the Empire then. Huh. To think they'd travel all this way. Are you ready to confront them, Professor? I guess so. I'm worried about Judith. As am I. We have no reason to believe she was intercepted en route. But we must act quickly. Let us take them down and locate Judith's army. They have chosen the Valley of Torment for this battle. And so we shall send them to the Flames of Eternity. Hopefully, Judas, uh, our force will show up mid-battle and help us. That would be good. Or maybe it's all a trap and she's going to go against us. Who knows? Tea party enthusiasts. Look at this. this. Oh, wow. Thanks. I had a tea party with Empress Edelgard. Yeah, it was great. Thank you. She only beheaded three of my servants. Okay, let's fight. The Valley of Torment. Gwendol. Perhaps a good place to finish off my life as a knight. Only if that puny force of children is able to kill me, of course. That lion banner. It seems Gwendol is the one leading the troops of House Row. He is an experienced general, renowned throughout Farnes. Let us hold nothing back. All right. All right. This is Aelel, the Valley of Torment. Expect this smoke and fire to assail us at every turn. Touching the flames of torment will get you worse than a scorching. Proceed carefully. So just like last time we were in a flame-based stage, you can't touch the lava or it hurts. Where's the general? Over here. Right? No? Oh my god, he's way over there. Well, this kind of sucks, I'm not gonna lie. This is a, it's like a really advantageous positioning. I guess we should just push forward here, but it's gonna suck. No matter where we go, we have to walk through the lava. There's no way around it. If we go north, we can take these guys out. And then push further north and west towards the commander, I guess? I guess that's what we'll try to do, but we're all gonna have to hit the lava and get burnt the fuck up. Watch. This is gonna suck. This is gonna royally suck. Guide me well. Sweet of you. More fighting. Oh wait, what's going on? Oh, okay. She can only go here. She cannot hit anyone with it. Well, maybe she can. 
Do you think if she goes here, she can hit that bolt with a spell? Oh, wait, I keep forgetting about this. She can't do a spell on a, a plot of ground. She can only attack an enemy with a spell. Therefore, there's absolutely no point. I will prevail. Crowd all the people together here. What's my strategy? I'm awake. Wait for now. Ready for anything. This is gonna take forever, dude. It really is. Let's clean up. Okay. Oh, this is good. This is actually good. Nice. That was pretty good. Put me in there. All right, see what happens. The crest of flames. <laughs> Quite full of themselves, aren't they? Just as I thought. Ash. The professor's army. But it's too late to back out now. Oh shit, Ash was in on uh place. I have to do my duty. Yeah. Ash was on the team uh uh Edelgard's not Edelgard's team. He was in a different team, right? Why is he helping the Empire? Oh, you know why? Because like they said they turned on us. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay. Well. Sadly, I cannot get close enough to attack, which sucks ass, of course. Obviously, I don't want to land and fly on lava. We want to be close together no matter what, so I should have DSP lead the charge since he has high evade. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Dance. That's good. He's gonna get a kill in. Okay. Well done. Alright, hold on a second here. So now. Hell yeah. Walk up right the fuck between them and kill one of them. Oh my god, he's gonna insta kill Ash. Do it. I don't want to fight you, Professor. Insta kill Ash, here we go. There's no turning back. Allow me to demonstrate. There's no turning back for me murdering your ass. Oh my god. I hit him so hard the game froze. But I don't want to die. Holy fuck. I instantly killed him. I guess I'm supposed to care, but I don't because I never had him on my team. He got Killer Bow out of him, and Killer Bow's a great item. He got insta-killed and fucked over so bad. Oh my god, dude. That was brutal. I'm trying to see if I move her up. She's gonna burn? Ah, no matter where I put her, she can't shoot anyone, huh? There's no point in, in having her burn up, so I'll just have her stand here then. Same thing here, no shot, right? Yeah, no. And if you put it there, she's in trouble, so. By grouping them together, it's gonna increase their evade by a ton. Which is why I'm doing this. Now wait a minute, Sedith is flying, right? So if Sedith, Sedith cannot take damage from the ground, because he's in the air, so as long as he, yeah, he should be okay. 
exquisite timing. I think he'll be okay. Loon Heart taking up the rear. Alright, let's see what happens here. Thirty-five damage? Oh fuck, that was a lot. Yeah, you are dumb, you're fighting the hero. Oh my god, you're out of here. You are out of here! Look at that, you did a force push to knock the shield back. That was sick. That was sick. Just let me at him. Oh, Catherine's teamed up with him? I didn't even realize that. That's gonna make him even better if Catherine's teamed up. All right, obviously, we gotta heal set it. That's priority one here. Okay, apologies. Now, one thing they did that's really stupid, they all lined up and clustered together. So if I can get my party to basically box them in, they're gonna get fucked over. I'm just sad that I used my meteor spell already, because I could have probably hit. Yeah, I could have hit like three of them at once now with that. But it's it's perfectly fine. What I'll do is I'll advance some people up, because they got to move up and then west to take them out. But then I'll move some people. We'll take out these guys who are chasing us. Okay. So in fact, let's let's do that now. Let's just kill his ass now. It's the kill. <laughs> Goodbye. Witness Bridget Pride. Okay. I don't know how much damage he's gonna do. Let's let's check it out. Oh, it almost kill him. The sickle kills him. Just do it. Just do it. Critical dude, everyone's getting critical hits. Yell on. A boon for our future. Very nice. I admire you. Oh, good. Now move back. Perfect. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to definitely have Seth move up. But I might want to have DSP kill this guy first. Seth. Oh my god. He can move a million places, so that's fine. Oh my god. He's so good. It won't be in vain. He's just so ridiculous, dude. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to go too far up. I want to keep everyone at least together here. I'm grateful. We're going to move up together. This, is, this archer is going to get fucked up, no matter what. Um, Insta-kill against this guy. Basically, all these spells are insta-kills against this guy. All right, let's kill him. Goodbye. Will this ever end? I'm growing, but at what cost? What cost? I'm grow? getting the hang of it. Three more to kill, and we got two bow users, so. That's an insta kill. This should be an insta kill, I believe. Maybe not. It's honestly hard to tell. The brave bow should be an insta kill, I think. Yes, okay. I wanted the insta kill so he doesn't get counter attack damage. Yet. 
Alright, this really sucks. We're gonna take a little damage here. strikes twice. The Hunter's Volley. Goodbye. Very nice. I got a chest key I don't need. <laughs> There's so many enemies. Nice. Counter, you're done. Goodbye, beautiful. So good. A little scratch won't stop me. So good. That's what you get. Oh, you're doing it again? Seriously. Well, I did take a damage, but he dies now. Goodbye. <laughs> I agree the music is great in this game. Name Star Rune Cheer, you said back in 2016 you said you were putting in your bid for the 2020 presidency. Are you ready to go to the debates yet? No, I'm gonna hold off. I think maybe I need a little bit more age and experience, so I think I'm gonna wait till 2024. 2024, then I'm gonna make my bid, okay? Alright, so this time around, he's gotta heal Bernadetta. Right. Thanks so much. Can I kill any of them? Oh, do any of the spells will kill these AIs. Yeah. She's so good with magic now, it's ridiculous. These guys don't stand a chance. Only thorns left on this rose. You're done. Double arrow. That's what you get for coming after me. Bernie's unstoppable. You should have left us alone, and we would have left you alone, but you came after us, and now you're gonna get fucked. All right. Everyone else. I'm trying to just decide what to do here. If I head west, and then I head north, then I can just get to the guy. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's move everyone west. Goodbye. Slaughter them all. This could turn the tides. Very good. I'm stronger than before. Stronger than before, Gozio. All right, no one probably knows that reference, but anyway. Oh God, they're all gonna—they're both gonna fire arrows, which is fucking annoying. If I do this, at least I'm great. We'll split the damage. Okay. What's going on? Oh, I'm done with this turn. Okay. Excuse me. Well, she's gonna have to go this way, because if she goes the other way, she's gonna have to stand on lava. Alright. This is our chance. Missed, haha. Uh -huh. The team up with Catherine is good. It makes him like crazy good. That's gonna hurt. Oh my god, that was great. Thank god. That's the weakness. Dan D Dan Danish wants to know if I've made my wife sign a non-disclosure agreement to never talk about our personal lives. No, you see, I just leave her locked in a closet all the time. And that way, there's no way she can talk about our personal lives. What are you, a fucking idiot? Shut up. Anyway, new star room cheer. Oh, I already read that. I already read about my presidential bid. Okay. Oh! She's got physic too? Oh my god. Dude, our team is crazy good now. This is ridiculous. 
Our team is so good. I, I <laughs> she could heal and fucking do insane damage to everybody. Fuck it. See if you can kill him. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Here we go. Yeah. Done. 126. Yikes. They would all be better if they wore a vest. Well, that I agree. They, my team would become godlike if they had vests. It's a shame that they don't have vests. Well, <laughs> we're kind of stuck here. Stupid Linhart. He's going to get stuck so far behind, he's not going to help anything. It's going to be worthless. All right, we've got to kill this asshole. Uh. I'm not sure what I want to do here. Maybe I'll just use two gambits so I don't take any damage. Now's our chance. Let's try my gambit. Oh, now Dan Dan Denise is oh sorry, I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. Maybe you weren't trying, but you certainly were. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what you were trying to do, you're an ass. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah! Boom! Very nice. Lament your weakness. It seems my proficiency has improved. Alert stance? You learned a new ability called alert stance. I don't know what the hell that is. Alright, if I move up though, I'm gonna get sniped. I don't wanna get sniped. So I'm just gonna stay here. Okay, let's see what the enemy does. Nothing. They stood there like idiots. Uh oh, who's this? Oh, old Gwendol is here. Judith! He doesn't look to be an ally. Oh, the hero of Daphnel is here. I'll expect more from her than the young ones. Alright, we gotta make sure Judith doesn't fall. I don't know if we get to control her, though. Oh, shit. This kind of sucks. Maybe I can hit these fuckers with magic? Ah, shitty ass balls and big taints. I want to get over there and start fucking them up, but they won't let me because of stupid move limit. So maybe I can have her dance. Yeah, I can actually get him over here. All right, let's do it. He takes no damage from love and he's flying. Just a oh! Take that. Destiny unfurls. Fucker. No, don't land on the ground to pose. You're gonna burn your ass. <laughs> don't land on the ground to do a fancy pose, you fool. Now, have her move up and dance. Yes, this is good. This is good. Thank you. Now I go kick some major ass. Who do I want to kill? Well, if I move all the way up here, I'm going to get fucked up by a hundred archers. So I guess I just go here and I kill this guy. Insta-kill. I must lead them well. Italian level up. Okay. Now, sadly, I'm, no one's going to be able to kill this guy. And these are who I need to fight to win, so I'm getting close already. This is good. Now, we can't have them stop on the lava. Is that... That's on lava. Okay, this is not. Confusing. I'm very glad Dorothea can heal, because fucking Linhart is going to be so goddamn far behind. 
He's not gonna help at all in this fight. This problem is move radius is terrible. I can't even get to my guys to help. This is the newest Fire Emblem Gravity play. It came out last year. I think they're moving, they're going for Judith. It's fine though, I'm gonna get him from behind. See, I'm definitely glad I can heal here. I gotta have Dorothea heal. Hopefully Judith is badass. I don't know if she is, but I hope she is. All right, so we're gonna have her move up and heal him. He's gonna have to be careful now because he has low health. I might have them move up and start chasing those guys. See, that would not be good. They'd all turn around and hit him. Hmm. Really? Probably not a good idea. I'll have the other people uh, attack and kill him. There we go. Hammer his ass. Nice. I love those animations. Nicely done. Very good. Now, we can have everyone else focus on moving up and attacking. Let's get him out of here. I'm grateful. Okay. Is there a chance to be playing the Double May Cry HD Collection? I did. I played one and three. I never played two, but I played one and three from that HD Collection, actually. You know what? I don't care if they take a small amount of damage for standing on this. I just want them to be able to fucking get close to the fight, so... Okay, wait. What? Who didn't move? Oh my god, Linhart. Oh my god, they're so fucking far back. These two are completely fucking worthless. They are seriously worthless. They can't move far enough to be any use. They're moving too far forward. This is very annoying. Judith's gonna end up dying. I don't know how I'm gonna save her because I can't move fast enough. I may have to redo this whole fight. I may end up redoing this whole fight. Look. At least if you missed. She's a fencer. That's an interesting attack style. Why did I play 3 before 2? Because everyone told me Double May Cry 2 was absolutely terrible. They told me not to play it at all. It's bad. Okay. She just goes, doink, with her sword. Doink. That's cool. I hope she survives, so I want to get over there and help her, but not much I can do about this. Oh, convoy. It all comes down to this. Another one. That's fine. It's like only a little bit of damage. Yeah, not a big deal. A lot of them heal it anyway, yeah. Alright, she's got to heal Sedith again. Because Sedith has uh, got low health here. Apologies. There we go. What the hell? What really sucks about this is that I cannot catch up with them. Maybe next turn? So I think I will have him go as far up as possible. <clears throat> I think so.
Because I'm trying to draw their attention over here. I don't know how effective it's going to be, but I'm trying to draw their attention. Kill this asshole. All is for victory. I might not win this, and I might have to resume it next time I play and start the whole fight over. Because... I would, if I had known this was going to happen, I didn't know where Judith was going to show up from. Awaits. I would have gone right instead of towards Just him. Like now it seems like I got screwed over by not knowing how the fight was going to go, which isn't very fair, but I guess that's life. <clears throat> a silver shield that I don't need. It was a waste. I don't know. I might be better off going this way. I think she's better off going that way and then trying to snipe over here. We're gonna try to get them to snipe over. This fucking dippy doo over here is doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> that really helped. Now please, Judas, survive. This is not good. <laughs> Does a whelp like you really expect to kill me? I am Gwendol, the Grey Lion. A knight by the hand of Count Rowe. Do your work. He might kill her. There's nothing I can do about this. Wow. She has zero health. I going to say, he's going to regret this one. What I need to do is get set it the fuck up in there and draw their attention away. That is all. That's the only way I'm gonna pull this one out of the fire. To get set it to fly in there and save her ass. How invigorating. Nice! She has six health. Oh boy, I don't know. Now, they're attacking the weaklings instead of the fucking boss. They should have attacked the boss. All right, this really sucks, but I hope we can do something here. Seriously. You're kidding. Wait a minute. How is it saying he's going to attack her? No matter what, he's going to attack her. And there's no fucking way for me to reach. You've got to be kidding me. Because what I wanted to do is get him over here and take his attention away. I can't. For some reason, they're telling me there's no way. This fucking sucks ass. There's nothing I can do. There's absolutely nothing I can do, right? There's nothing I can do here. This is fucking bullshit. I'm done. He's gonna kill her. Unless he misses, which he's not going to, this fight is over. Was any of this worth it? Yeah, this really fucking blows. The further she can move is right next to me, and I it doesn't help my move. He can move up to here, and then he's stuck. Yeah, I'm done. No, if I, see, the problem is that there's two spaces. See this bullshit? This is the fucking problem. Now, if I stand here, that will at least give her backup, and there's a chance that he'll miss. This is about all I can do, is stand right here and hope that it'll be attacked because I'm standing next to her, and she has this group that he'll fucking miss. That's all I can hope for. 
That really sucks, man. Next turn, he'll be dead. Because next turn, my whole team will wail on him. Sweetie Man JPEG Chase says, Q Will Smith, aha, it's rewind time. Yeah, it seems like I'm going to have to. And then start winning Chase, I thought you were saying if someone dies, you'll go with it. No, the game has a rewind mechanic for a reason. You're supposed to use it, or else I wouldn't have chosen Permadeath. That was the whole premise. I was going to go with the Permadeath route as long as I could rewind, you know? Oh, I can. Oh my god, I can heal her! Yes! Oh my god, look at that range on the heal! This might save it. I might actually save it here if she doesn't die here. Holy shit, that fucking range, dude. Alright, let's see what happens. Come on, survive! You got a whole team here! You gotta be kidding me, he does 25. Now I gotta rewind. I'm done for. Claude. I'm sorry. That's fucking bullshit. That's bullshit. Why does he have to do just enough damage to fuck the whole fight? I'm just gonna do it again until he misses. Because he's gonna fucking miss eventually. He's gonna miss one of these chances. Because RNG. That's it, wait. It turns over. Is he seriously gonna hit every time? This is bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. Is there a chance that he'll miss? The Divine Pulse has nine charges, right? It's set in stone. 80, it's 82%. So there is an 18% chance he can miss. I don't know what else I could possibly do here. More fighting. No matter what, it only gets her 23, right? That helps. Guide me well. You can only use this on yourself, right? Yeah. You can't use it on her. Wait, what happened? That's it. It turns over now. You can't give it to her. You, 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 can, you can only he can only use his items on himself. There's no way to hand her the item, right? So there's nothing I can do about that. This fucking blows. It's really shitty. I'm awake. This is garbage. Let's clean up. I I don't have time to do the fight over tonight, so we're fucked. I can't do anything till next time. This is really fucking stupid. That he 100% is going to hit her no matter what. Yeah, 82%. See that? It's an 82% chance. So I keep going over and over and there's a What's small chance he'll miss. And if he misses, then I'm okay. Oh my god. This sucks. I will prevail. Ready for anything. Yeah, I say I can't get even near anybody. Yeah, I'm fucked. Put me in there.
I just gotta hope that he misses one of the ten, the nine times or eight times I can reset, right? And if not, I gotta do the whole... St this is the bullshit about this. Here's the start of the fight. Here's our units right here. How the fuck were you supposed to know Judith is gonna come from the upper right-hand corner and then get killed? There's no way. The first time you do this fight, there's no way you can know that. So you're, uh, you're intended to waste a half an hour to 45 minutes of your time and just to lose the first time and replay the fight. That's bad game design. What should happen is at the very beginning of the fight, Judith should be there and then say, okay, go help Judith. Not, oh, she shows up randomly, but because you went a different direction because the game didn't say she was going to magically fucking show up and you have to defend her, now game over, redo the whole fight. That's bad game design. So they f this fight sucks ass. It's very poorly designed, and I say fucking shit dicks. That's what I say to that. Shitty fucking dicks. Shitty fucking dicks. So he's gonna go kill her. Unless I get lucky. All I can do is keep trying and hope with the 82% that he misses. It looks like I'm done for. If he, if he misses, we win. Because I'm gonna beat him I'm next sorry. turn. I just do it over and over. This is so dumb. It looks like At least Shadow Ninja, there, I can't split my team. I don't have time. The stream is about to end. I don't have time to redo the whole fight. Obviously, I'm going to have to redo the fight from the start and now have my team go upper right instead to protect her, which I didn't know. It's just terrible game design. It's really frustrating. This is the second time the game has done this to me. And it literally wasted my whole 45 minutes of actual gameplay tonight with this bullshit. This is bullshit. This is really bad. Yeah, you gotta hope for the best, but it probably ain't gonna happen. Like I'm done for. This is fucking stupid. Boy, you're not listening. To be booty. I the stream is about to end. I don't have time to go three entire turns back and redo the whole fight from the start. You're not listening to me. I really I might as well just do the whole fight over. There's no point in, in doing it like that when I know if I just go the other way, I'm gonna just win easily. Oh my god. And it's also bullshit because it's supposed to be only 82%. One of these times, he technically should miss. Yet they're not letting me. It's just it's fucking bullshit, man. I call bullshit. I call bullshit. It's also bullshit he takes more than half of her life with one hit, too. I give up. Obviously, I gotta do the whole fight over because the game is badly made at this part. There's two fights that are like this, and they're both garbage that this happens. It's complete garbage. They fucked it up. Wow, this is very exciting. Alright. So... I'm sorry, guys. There literally was no gameplay tonight. There was literally no gameplay. It was all support conversations. And then when I finally get to gameplay, the game fucks me over and throws away 45 minutes of my time. Very fucking frustrating, okay? It's not fair that the game does this. This is the second time there's been a fight with a required escort slash defense mission. But you don't know you have to do it because it doesn't do it until the middle of the fight. So, it's poorly made in that regard. And... I definitely think that the game is good, but definitely the game has some big flaws. It's definitely not a perfect, uh, a perfect game by any means whatsoever. Um, and this is one of the major so flaws, much. in my opinion. Seriously, 
Because this is a playthrough that's already long enough, and there's no fucking reason for me to have to redo an entire 45 minutes of gameplay because they made the fight badly. That's really stupid. So, we're just going to bookmark here or save or whatever. appreciated. Um... Yo, that's right. Expand Donk says you'll keep the experience, so don't restart. I'm not going to. I'm going to save now. I'll save, and we'll resume next time I play this, which is next week. We'll say I'm just pissed because I made zero progress tonight because of this game, because of the way they made it. That's frustrating. But I apologize, guys. I wish I could have uh, won at least one fight tonight. And by all rights, I should have. But they screwed the game up, so what can I say? All right, until next time, guys. We'll just do this fight next time.